Hey everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Trending. Musician Pharrell Williams made waves when he presented at the 2019 Oscars. His outfit turned heads, he wore camouflage shorts, and sparked curiosity about who Pharrell's wife, Helen Lysachon, is because she attended the Oscars alongside him and looked just as stylish as her husband. Sure, Williams likes to keep his life on the down low, and Lysachon is perhaps even more private than her husband. But what we do know about Lysachon proves she's a fascinating human. Here are just a few factoids about Lysa John. Born in 1973 in Virginia, Pharrell Williams started performing as a teen. He joined forces with his friend Chad Hugo, and they became known as the in-demand production team, The Neptunes, working with such artists as Jay-Z, Gwen Stefani, and Britney Spears. Returning to performing, Williams helped form the group Nerd, which released albums like in search of and seeing sounds. In 2013, he hit the pop charts in a major way, going number one with his solo effort, Happy, as well as helping to craft hits with Robin Thicke and Daft Punk. He joined the popular television competition The Voice in September 2014 as a coach. Born on April 5th, 1973, in Virginia Beach, Virginia, Pharrell Williams has become a leading force in popular music as a performer, songwriter, and producer. He first got into music at a young age. As a kid, my aunt and I used to sit in front of the stereo and just play records, Williams explained to Cosmo Girl magazine. One of the first albums he bought was by hip-hop group A Tribe Called Quest. Many famous women have dated Pharrell Williams, and this list will give you more details about these lucky ladies, including Pharrell Williams' current wife, past relationships, pictures together, and dating rumors. This comprehensive dating history tells you everything you need to know about Pharrell Williams' love life. Khalees and Pharrell Williams are rumored to have dated from April to September of 2001. Khalees Rogers, born August 21st, 1979, is an American singer, songwriter, and chef. When she was 14, Khalees was admitted to New York's Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Arts and Performing Arts. She learned to play the saxophone and won a spot in the Girls' Choir of Harlem. Khalees took a variety of jobs, and after she graduated from high school in 1997, she landed a backup vocal slot on a single called Fairy Tales, released by American hip-hop group Gravediggas. She later began working with Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo, known as the Neptunes. Jade Jagger, daughter of Mick Jagger, and Pharrell Williams were romantically linked in 2003. Jade Jezebel Jagger, born on October 21st, 1971, is a British jewelry designer, home designer, and former model. The only child of rock star Mick Jagger and his only wife, Bianca Jagger. Their parents divorced when she was a child. She is of English and Nicaraguan ancestry. Vashti Kola and Pharrell Williams dated from September 2004 to 2006. Vashti told the comeback Jack to show that she met Pharrell through Pusha T. But during their relationship, there were rumors that Pharrell was creeping around with other people, including supermodel Karolina Kirkova. After a gossip website stated Farrell was spotted kissing Carolina during a party hosted by Donatella Versace, Carolina's then-boyfriend, Alessandro Besson II, came to her defense and denied that there was anything messy going on. Farrell had to wait two years before he could start dating his wife Helen Lossachon. Talk about love being patient. His patience and tenacity paid off because she eventually accepted to go out with him. And as they say, the rest is history. Helen Lossachon is not only a wife and a mother, but there is so much to her, as you will discover when you continue to go on with the video. Helen Lasachon spent her early life in Miami. She was born on the 22nd of July in 1980 in Florida. She attended Miami Coral Park High School, where she graduated in 1998. She attended the St. Thomas University in Miami Gardens, where she showcased her prowess in volleyball. She was an active member of the school team and in 2001 was named the Florida Sun Conference Player of the Year. Lasachan is super private about her personal life, and although very little is known about her parents and siblings, we do know that she is of mixed ethnicity since her parents are Ethiopian and Laotian. Pharrell spotted her at a banquet, and although she did not find him attractive, Pharrell was smitten by her gorgeous looks. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, he said he was charmed by her looks. She just stood out. I was like, who and what is that? I knew at some point something was going to happen. I was just enamored by the moment I was having with her. I just wanted to read that book. I didn't care what was in it. The more he chased her, the more she ignored his overtures. Lasachan is said to have been in a serious relationship with someone else at the time. Pharrell was not one to give up easily, and he continued wooing her while knowing he was taking chances. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey and Express, Farrell confessed to having worked for her love since his entitlement did not move her. 
she didn't answer half my text messages because I kind of had to reach. I thought I was entitled and I had learned that no, she has a boyfriend and she is not interested. His patience and resilience paid off eventually and they started dating two years later. He confessed to having hurt her a lot at the beginning, but once he made up his mind to commit to her, there was no turning back. At an interview with Oprah, Pharrell is quoted to have said, I had hurt her a lot at the beginning, once she was free and was available because I had given her all this attention. But I wasn't ready to like, let go. I looked at my life and I was like, man, I could keep doing this for another 10 years. Is this what I want to do? And so I made the decision. And then we made a decision and just started dating. To say that Lysa Chan is stylish is an understatement. She's a fashionista who has demonstrated her uniqueness in the fashion world and has never been afraid to share to the world her unique fashion statements. Lysa Chan ventured into the world of fashion and modeling after college and worked with popular agencies and magazines trying to curve a niche for herself in the industry. Her husband also shares her unique fashion, and the couple is said to be one of the most fashion-forward couples in Hollywood. Whenever they step out together for red carpet events, the couple is always adorned in unique outfits, leaving most people gaping with envy. Lysa Chan, who also has a body to die for, looks incredibly beautiful in whatever outfit she chooses. She does not go with the norm, and when expected to wear an evening gown in a red carpet event, she shows up in a tux. She is also quite modest and avoids wearing overtly sexy outfits. When asked by the Post how she comes up with a combination of her outfits, she modestly responded by saying, I don't choose, it's just who I am. Humble, right? After five years of dating, the couple tied the knot in Miami, Florida. As was expected, the couple decided to adopt their own style away from the traditional wedding gown. Helen accentuated her beautiful body in a voluminous blue tartan dress and completed the look by accessorizing with long gold necklaces and pearl rosemary beads. The dress, which had some fabric gathering at the hip, exposed her tiny waist, making her look like a princess. Pharrell, on the other hand, wore a red and green tartan tuxedo. The guests also adopted the tartan theme. The couple sailed away in a boat named Never Say Never to the Kampong, tropical botanical gardens where they exchanged their vows surrounded by close friends and family. Their wedding was turned into a mini concert by Usher and Busta Rhymes, who are some of the artists that Pharrell has worked with. Justin Timberlake and Robin Thicke were also said to have performed at the wedding. In 2008, while the couple was still dating, they welcomed their first son, Rocket Ayer Williams, named after Rocket, the ascending man-made machine. This is what Pharrell has to say about his son's name at an interview with Oprah. In the same way that the Indians named their children behind a force or an animal or an element, we named him after a man-made machine that was meant to go up, meant to ascend. And metaphorically, it was because of Stevie Wonder's Rocket Love, Elton John's Rocket Man, all of my favorite musicians. Cool parents right there. Their son is already becoming one of the coolest kids in Hollywood, as can be seen from his dad's rare photos of the family on Instagram, and is slowly adopting his parents' fashion sense. In honor of their son, Pharrell composed the song Rocket's Theme, which was included in the soundtrack of the movie Despicable Me. The couple welcomed triplets in 2017. The couple who lives a very private life has shared neither the names nor the pictures of the triplets. The closest pictures they have shared about the triplets is a photo of three pairs of yellow Adidas with the words human race on each pair. Pharrell shared with his fans what it's like to be a father of four and is quoted to have said, I have a tribe. It is an assembly line. They harmonize when they cry. It's wah, 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 all at the same time. Like one cries, then the next one cries, and the next one cries. They are hungry, they are hungry, they are hungry. Their hands are full, and with Lysachan being a full-time mother, there is never a dull moment for her. Although she is not active on social media, the kind of praises she gets from her husband is an indication that the two are not only still in love, but they seem to have a lot of respect for each other. Pharrell told People that he does not own her. I love her for everything she is, good, bad, and indifferent. We share a space in love, that is. I don't possess her. You know, when I was young, I used to say things like, oh, she is mine, but she is not mine, but she sure makes me feel like it. With such kind, mature love openly displayed, we can only hope that this is one of those happily ever after kind of love stories and wish them luck as they raise their tribe. Let us know your thoughts on the love story of the couple. If you like the content, don't forget to like the video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel.